What's up everyone and welcome to Sunday with Ola 47 I'm checking my heart rate right now 127 beats per minute It just goes to show how much I'm working in the uh, riffing there in the beginning Alright, I'm back down to 80 let me see how high up I can get by making myself, you know, anxious and, and, uh, and frustrated <laughs> This is an old watch by the way, this is the uh, first generation <laughs> Come here, 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 come here What is it? What is it? What is it? 116 <laughs> Come on, baby. 127. Okay, we have to <laughs> let it go there. Wow, what an intro, guys. Holy shit. I decided to uh, bring back my watch, my Apple Watch, just to, you know, keep myself in control. How's your heart, Ola? How's that old ticker? You know, I'm in a process of, uh, you know, getting my physics back you know, in order, so I figured I would have the watch you just to check on me here and there and stuff like that, so there you go, what's up everyone? it's Sunday with Ola 27, sh uh, 47, shit I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for some news okay, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you thank you for mentioning my name all the time there was one guy, uh, last uh, uh, Sunday with Ola, he's like Why didn't you mention the new Gojira single that was released this past Friday? Well, you have to understand that, you know, I'm recording these earlier in the week You know, if they release something on a Friday, it's not in the Sunday with Ola And then if I do it the next week, it's almost like it's old news Just saying, just have a little patience, you know But yeah, there was a new Gojira single, Amazonia, it was amazing, okay Are you happy? Anyway, wh what I wanted to talk to you about is that uh, for this past week people have been tagging me on a Dean guitar post Now, why is this? Well, it's because Dean are releasing the Southern Cross What? Apparently Dean are releasing a Dean USA made Southern Cross Now, if you're unfamiliar with Dimebag guitars uh, and you know, uh, Dimebag Daryl of the band Pantera how can you not know who that guy is after watching this channel? Maybe you're a new uh, viewer, that's okay It's okay, it's uh, Dimebag Daryl, you know, the, the most badass guitar player that ever lived You know, he played in one of the best bands that ever existed, you know, Pantera Now, one of the most sought-after Washburn guitars or Dimebag guitars that are out there uh, One of them is the Washburn Southern Cross I think they made 100 of them uh, back in 2005 or something like that They, they uh, just before his passing, they already planned ahead to make the Southern Cross uh, Dimebag had signed the certificates and all and then they, uh, Washburn just basically built them and sold them off And these guitars are ones of the more expensive ones out there if you're out to look for a Washburn Dimebag guitar And as the years pass, we see less and less of them because, you know, people them up and you know throw them away. I, I, I don't know what people do, but yeah, nowadays they go for about uh, you know uh, eleven thousand dollars or something like that and up, which is insane, obviously. But then again, Dimebag was a legend, you know, so uh, it might not be insane for the Dimebag fan. Just saying. Just before Dimebag's passing, Dimebag went back to Dean Guitars. And he played a little bit of Damage Plan with some Dean guitars, but then he passed away and. You know, Washburn guitars have been really, really, uh, you know, sought after And the Dimebag Washburn guitars have been incredibly uh, hyped And, uh, you know, incredible built guitars, you know, the USA Custom Shop Washburn were They were ma amazing guitars uh, from that era And all of those guitars now became incredibly expensive And uh, people are basically scalping and it's, 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 it's a mess to be honest. And after that, you know, Dean kind of, you know, went on with the Dimebag name and, you know, making uh, USA Dimebag guitars and they had a custom shop too, made guitars and, you know, expensive and all, but, you know, they never had the resale value of like a Washburn 
uh, USA custom shop guitar. So Dean has been... A it's, a little, it's a little weird for Dean. Let's just say it's weird for Dean because they're continuing the legacy while Dimebag actually played uh, Watchman guitars a lot throughout, like, you know, Far Beyond Driven, Great Sound, Trent Kill and... Uh, and uh, reinventing the steel and whatnot. So it's a little tricky for Dean guitars because, you know, they... Hello. Uh, that's my wife, Louise, by the way. She's packing the orders. Hello. Uh, are, are you packing... Uh, what are you packing right now? We're not yet shipping out the orders for, this, for the album, but... I am packing um, the CD orders and guitarist edition for the ones far away, like... America, Canada, the moon. Australia. Okay, yeah, for, for everyone that's far away. So obviously you're gonna ship uh, to those countries first yes. because it will take longer for yes. them to receive the albums. Okay, so the guitarist edition, and okay, that's awesome, amazing. So, so you're I packing think. that. Yep. And uh, awesome, thank you so much. That's Louise, my wife, she's beautiful. There you go. Uh, what were we talking about? We're talking about Dean guitars, shit. To cut to the chase, Dean guitars are announcing a Dean USA Southern Cross, which is basically the same version as the Washburn Southern Cross. Uh, it looks a little bit different, and everyone is tagging me and, you know, asking me if I'm like, oh, hey, old England, uh, what's up? And here it is, basically. It's looks like the Southern Cross. It, it's, uh, it's, from the looks of it, it's quilted maple. You know, the original Washburn Southern Cross had flame maple looks to it, and these have quilted maple. Otherwise, it looks, yeah, looks uh, pretty much the same. <coughs> This is what looks like six Southern Cross uh, necks right there with uh, three tops. Well, that's cool. Look at that. So the story about this happening is that uh, Chandro Guitars, who is a dealer in the US, uh, have ordered 33 of these guitars, uh, USA made, and uh, they're sold at uh, 4,780 euros, which is... It's... I guess that's okay. It's expensive, but it is a custom shop guitar. You know, the original Washburn Southern Cross guitars are really hard to get by, so I think now they're thinking, you know, this is another chance for people to get a hold of a Southern Cross. Even though it's not the same as the one back in the day, you know, it's... It's still kind of cool. I think it's cool. A lot of people would probably say that it's uh, an easy cash grab, but... I mean... Come on. It is what it is. I think it looks cool. And uh, this guy thinks it looks cool as well. Look at this guy, he's pointing down. 5,400 US dollars. Oh, and just like all the guitars on the Chandra website, they all have five stars, obviously, because they're high quality, all of them. Uh, I don't think anyone has a five star, no reviews. Okay, so it's automatically five stars. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Anyways, I have a uh, Washburn Sound and Cross. I actually made uh, my guitar video that will be out, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen soon. And uh, yeah, good for Dean, and also good for the people that really want a Sound and Cross and can't get the original Washburn ones. It, here's another chance for you, okay? All right, I thought it would be time to- I can't believe you've done this. Just checking. I thought it would be time to check out a YouTuber again. Today we're gonna check out Bradley Hall, that is an uh, up-and-coming YouTuber, and uh, he has 143,000 subscribers, which is a lot, and he makes really, really good videos. They're funny as f and he's also incredibly talented on guitar. And the video we're gonna check out today, we're gonna check out 35 famous guitar metal YouTubers in a nutshell, which is basically him uh, mimicking YouTubers, so let's uh, check out what happens. Hey everyone, it's Rick Beato, Rick Beato. And today's Everything okay. Music, it's What Makes This Song Great, episode 3298, and today's song is Violent Diarrhea. <laughs> How can you not laugh at farts? Just saying, I just, I just love farts too much. <laughs> Jamie Slays. Jamie Slays, aww. <laughs> the do. This is so accurate. That's rad, dude. Anyway, here's my penis. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible. Wait, come. You, must, you have to check. Uh, I'm checking out Bradley Hall. He's made uh, an impersonation of me. Uh, we have to check. See if it's accurate. What's up? <laughs> he's, he's spot on. Yeah. Spot on. Right there. He even got the he even got the um, the angle right. Look at this. Like it's it's this angle. The only thing is he's using the wrong hand. What's up? That's okay. <laughs> I think it's very very accurate. Ah! Oh, I was eating my rice crispy. <laughs> <laughs> 
time for a clue. She's just, she's just screaming, isn't it? <laughs> there you go, Bradley Hall. He actually has a fair bit of uh, shredding guitar videos as well. But I thought we would check this out because, you know, everyone loves to hate YouTubers. So, <laughs> you know, it's great. That, that's Bradley Hall. I'll put a link to Bradley in the description of this video. You can go check him out. Okay. That's the news, by the way. Who's up there? You won't escape that way. Remember the Spotify playlist? No? Okay, let me uh, check it out again. 459 hours worth of music. This is not... <laughs> it's, gonna, it's not gonna be easy for me uh, to listen to new music, but we're gonna uh, take a stab on... Uh, see if I can find something cool today in the Spotify playlist. This Spotify playlist, Recommend Me Good Shit, is about you guys recommending me good shit in this Spotify playlist here. Uh, Link in the description, you can uh, recommend me good shit. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, do, you know, randomizer. Can I... People said I can do randomizer like this. Shuffle, okay, let's go. Gehenna Gate. What is this?
Frashy. Oh, the band is called Lucy's Absentia. Reminds me a little bit of the crown. That's cool. Okay, next. Aphrodite. Oh, damn. Lost in War, okay. Okay, 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 next one. The Agonist, okay, okay. This is, uh, not Angela, what's her face? Uh, it's, uh... Wow. What's her name? The blue hair. Blue hair? What's the blue hair name? Come on, I know this. What's the... Shit. Arch Enemy's singer name! As Alyssa, white gluten. Great, okay, that's who I thought about. Yes, this is her old band. Okay, great. Soretra, come on. Swedish death metal. Soretra incredible, by the way, if you didn't know it already. It's, uh, oh, shit. Listen to this album, man. Like, technical death metal. What? Oh, uh, someone put fear to me. It was not me, I promise. Comfortable and numb, okay. Marauder. That's a good guitar tone, I like that. Nice. I like this. Good guitar tone. Next. Textures, oh my god. Am I the only guy in the world who completely miss textures? One of the best prog bands out there, and uh, they're not playing anymore. It's just a, such a kick-ass band. Damn. I miss them. Silhouettes. That's a great album. Toxic Wild Sexes. Okay, let's end it at that. Kick-ass. A lot of really good recommendations in this Spotify list, so go check it out in the description of this video, and maybe you can contribute with your own shit, or just... It's, or just good shit, okay? Great. Sunday with all our riff challenge. What's up, everyone? There's a camera over there. Hello. So I started a subreddit uh, last week for Sunday with all There's not too many members on there. So, you know, keep on going on there. I'll put a link in the description. Subreddit, Swallow Riff Challenge. Post your stuff there. But today we're starting with Clown Corpse. Uh. Ringmaster Bones. There you go. Horns, baby. Everything becomes better with a hat, just saying. But I'm not a hat guy. I have a problem wearing hats, my head is too big. No hat will fit me. That's just a, a problem. Nice. Ooh, flare style, like it. Brought out the gem for some soloing, I like that. Nice, man. Ringmaster Bones. There he is. Good job. Next up, we have Frankie Orr. What's up, Frankie Orr? There he is. Oh, he has the Haunted album. The vinyl put out here. It's good. Show, <laughs> you know, showing the support. Oh, he also has two solo guitars. I forgot to mention that. Oh, Lydian. Gotta love the Lydian. Nice. Melodic, I like this. Did he make this song longer? I think he did, because it's not 1 uh, 52 minutes. He's saying. There you go, baby. Frank, your mug. Oh, Chug. Okay, cool. Cool. I can dig it. That's Frank, your everyone. Last but not least, we have Faye in music. He's playing, uh, he's playing a Jackson soloist. Uh, no, not soloist. The, the Nick Thompson Jackson. I think this is the guy who won uh, the guitar. This is the guitar I demoed. Yes, it, it is the guy. That's cool. Shit. 
heavy. Fuck. Fuck. This also sucks longer. For some reason, I don't know. A little Dream Theater-esque, I like this. Awesome. Fay in music, thank you so much. So, what's the deal again? Well, you download the drums, you know, the intro of The Son of Ola, and uh, you make your own riffs to those drums, and maybe I'll feature you in the next and upcoming Son of Ola. How about that? Ola tasting shit. G'day, mate! Today... <laughs> oh, no, okay, no, no. Stop that. That was terrible. Shit. <laughs> Ola and Louise tasting shit. We're continuing on with our journey to Australia. Hey, how are you doing? I'm from Australia. You know, I, uh, I'm actually a pest in Australia. Did you oh, know yeah. that? That they're pests. Okay. I saw one that. of these assholes when I was on tour in Australia. Um, I saw a roadkill kangaroo oh. and it was so big and swollen. I like, like this. Yeah, they're... You hit a car with that thing? Your car is dead, yeah. and the kangaroo is like, Oh, I'm Australian, I'm a pest, and he runs away. Yeah, also when we just drove uh, in the countryside, there were like, a, you know, a horde of, of them running around. It was Ooh. pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I've so, never been to Australia. I've been to New Zealand, but not Australia. Somewhere. All their animals are so much different from everything else that's yeah. on the other side of the world. So we're continuing on our journey with Chad and Kelly from Australia. Last week we did the snacks, today we're doing the candy. And uh, I'm really looking forward to trying the Timmy Tams, or Tim Tams. And uh, <laughs> so let's save that for last. Let's start with Violet Crumble. Wafer? It's the way it shatters that matters. Okay, ooh, <laughs> this is a nice and big bar, man. Oh. <laughs> Peeling, oh, it's a one piece. <laughs> This makes me feel inadequate, okay? Let's just <laughs> take a bite. Oh wow, it, it's not a wafer in the sort what of... What the f*** is that on the inside there? What the f*** is that? That's so weird. What does oh, that taste? It, <laughs> I don't know, it's like... Um, Call customer service. Oh I do God. not support this. I'm sorry. That's very strange. Very weird, guys. <laughs> okay? At least something new. What's the after flavor? Like, no, violet ass? It up. Oh, syrup. Okay. This is sherry ripe from Cadbury. It's also another bar. Okay. And I guess, okay. Let's just do this. Ooh, look at those <laughs> insides. Uh, that's not healthy. Those are actually, I think, real fruit. And coconut. If I want fruit, I eat and take a fruit, okay? This is something from New Zealand. Uh, it's a story. Did you know? Only one half of, of a dolphin's brain sleeps at a time so that it doesn't drown. Cool. Okay, what's next? Wow. <laughs> I'm you eating know? a frog. In a the watermelon consists of 92% water. Frogs alive. No taste. I mean, it's okay. I want to read more. Astronauts become up to 3% taller in space due to the lack of gra uh, uh, gravity. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I could be even taller in space. Did you know a baby hippo can drink milk underwater? No, I did not know that. No. Did you know a penguin is the only bird that walks upright? Really? Charlie Chaplin once lost a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest. That one, that one I have That's heard. Great. I think he came like third place. Great. But you know, maybe your audience doesn't know who Charlie Chaplin was. Isn't that sad? For him, yeah. <laughs> what do I care? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, I, I did not know that you had a, such a Charlie Chaplin hate going on, but no, you know, no, I watched I that shit. I love that st stuff when I was a kid. You did? Mm -hmm. okay, did you know Venus is the only planet that spins clockwise and Uranus spins on its side? <laughs> yes! Uh, should we actually uh, do something? Maybe? I think it's time, guys. We have to try the 0 0.5 health okay. rated uh, Tim Tams. Okay. Oh, they're, oh, they're soft. Oh Irresistible real chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. 
They're good. They're good. They're good. Now. Maybe not the best I have had, had but. I noticed something. It says original made with irresistible real chocolate. Yes. We're lucky that we didn't get the one with the fake chocolate. Just saying. <laughs> that was good. I like this. I mean, if this is the best of the best in Australia. Maybe we should go somewhere else. <laughs> wow. Oh, so much Australian love right here. God damn it. This is my wife. It's not. That, that was you. That's on you. That's not, that, that's not me. I, I want to have some snakes. Go ahead. You know, I'm sitting here thinking like of the effort that this package was once on the other side of the world. They wanted to send it to us all across the world. To teeny tiny Sweden. Exactly. Isn't that awesome that you can do that? Yeah. And we got to learn a bunch of bullshit. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, an ostrich eye is bigger than its brain. Did you know that? No, <laughs> no. but now we know. Thank you so much, dude. And this is all thanks to Chad and Kelly. Thank you. Right. That's it, that's me. Yeah, that's it, that's me. <laughs> okay, good, good, good talk, Luis. Uh, thank you. That was all a taste of shit. Uh, Chad and Kelly, thank you so much for sending all of this. To us, it's been a pleasure. Some things not as good as the other, but, uh, interesting. but we learned a lot along the way. We did. You did. Uh, thank you so much for that. So I'll see you next time. And uh, we'll, <laughs> we're going to see you next time because we're, there's two of us now. No, no three. Sorry. No, they're going to see us. Mm. We're not going to see them. OK. And that, my friends, was Sunday with Ola 47 for you. I hope you enjoyed this short little session that we had together. And uh, look at this. I have a small little uh, entry. Uh, pocket here for my uh, for my legs so I can scratch on the inside it goes both up and down uh, Yes, oh shit. Isn't it Easter by the way? Is this a red day? It's a Sunday. It's still a red day, but you know, are we celebrating something? Is someone dying? Jesus someone? No, I don't know <laughs> well, Whatever happy Easter everyone shit. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye